I, I feel like it's something that builds up uh, momentum over time. That it's something that by trying to dig in to the extent of what you have, it's something that you can't expect to come out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's something that you, there's a certain amount of momentum that, that you bring with you and pursue day in and day out. And it's similar to talking about states of meditation of, of the mind, where rather than trying to find specific chunks to allocate, all right, these times I'm going to be meditative. Um, it's something I feel that the more that we carry it with ourselves, the more I carry it with myself and take on the world that way, that when I get to a point where I have time to paint or have time to make work, it, it, it opens up or, or the, the channels are, are allowing a greater degree of circulation at that point. Um, as, as well as being able to sort of take a step back because I feel like sometimes when I have a, more time to do work, I try harder to make the work and that sometimes hinders the process. So it's sometimes being busy with a lot of other stuff and then just having that relief of being able to do what I want to do, it, it, a shorter amount of time might yield a, a, a more significant uh, color, composition, there just might be something, that, the concentrate, it builds up in me at that point where I haven't been able to work and then it just spills out a little bit more. And, um, and I feel like by main, maintaining that, even when I can't do the work, that when I do have the time to get to it, that things start to unfold and, and, that, and that we all start to work with that. And I think that it's really important that it's something that we live with. Like I've said, art isn't the what, but it's the how. So even just by going out to dinner, the way I interact with somebody, even if they have no idea that I, that, that I make art, it's, it's not important at that, at that point. The, the, the interaction so that when there are other, so that it's something that's always happening. It, it's, not, it's not something to define this specific space just like I was saying with meditation, even, even the social interaction of it, the more c consistent, because we can't all be on all the time, but the more that it's pursued, the easier it is to have there when you really need it. It, it, it's interesting for, for me. Music is a huge, a huge part of being able. When I'm right on the edge or or, or not quite there, music's something that can always kind of like push me over. And it, it's funny because, it, it, namely jazz, but it, it really anything that fits the feeling at the time. I, I think there's a really curious thing too that these anxieties or apprehensions or maybe even fears that we have. Uh, that I that as individuals that we might buy into and and sort of feel like uh, weighed down or that it, that it's hard to pursue doing a work that these things can actually become that that trigger where where when you when I am weighted down by it and allow myself just to stay there you know it, it just stays there but to have that sense of nervousness and still pursue a conversation that I don't know where it's going to go, to still pursue a conversation with somebody that I, I've never met before, that sense of uncertainty creates a certain amount of adrenaline or a certain amount of, um, it, it creates a sense of, a, a necessity for responsiveness at that time. And, and at that point, by putting myself out there, like I, like I was talking before, being like a shy kid or, or doing art that, for the most part, kind of isolates me or a, an individual, but then having to put myself out there a little bit more and, and take that sense of nervousness and create and, and allow it to sort of kickstart allow it to catch fire and I think that that at some point makes a more personal statement it makes a connection with somebody because then it's not just talking down or instructing it's like that I think somebody can pick up on the fact that this person is talking directly to me at this point
Um, and, I, and I find it interesting at that point in even reaching out because I, I get excited then. And so that feeling that somebody is, even though they're asking me questions, it, it, it takes over me and then that's something that I want to share, share back. And in a um, inanimate level, music does that to me. And then otherwise, I, I seek that with people. And then, and then hopefully, you know, build certain social and um, works of art that are collaborative. I, I feel the, the starting point is in a great degree of, of work. Work that doesn't, that you don't get that excitement from instantly. Um, when you, it, it, and it comes down to something specific for the individual. For me, I realized I could sit down and I could paint. I could spend hours and, and not feel, and, and feel like I could just keep going with it. And a lot of that time isn't that, that state of exhilaration. I try to, I try to maintain it, and, and I feel like the, the more successful paintings are the ones where, where I do maintain that. But it's that, that drive of constantly, of constantly working towards something. And con by constantly working towards something, then certain failures that, or, or certain things that aren't working out don't weigh as heavily. Because you know that, all right, well, I, this, this opportunity didn't work out this time. But in the back of my mind, I've been doing everything that I could. So it, it allows uh, that sort of uh, frenetic state of mind to settle a little bit. Because otherwise, you, you'll start, you can start focusing on the things that aren't working out too heavily. Um, but then at, at the point that somebody's worked out things to to a degree that they feel like that, that's really become a part of them. At some point you have to be able to take a step back. And that, that in a sense, is maybe the trickiest thing. Rather than always push, 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 at some point being able to know that that, that, that work has been laid out and be able to, or, or that all the information, say, that I've absorbed within art history and, and wanted to, you know, gravitate to, that I wanted to have inspire me, at some point, being able to set that all aside. Because there's no way to get anywhere new with old information. Um, so being able to, to push that hard and then being able to take that, that, that step back and and maybe maybe it's get away from yourself maybe it's maybe it's just but, but just being able to sort of like ease back into it and allowing some of those other activities to, to catch up or or move around you and then and then address and respond again in accordingly to the things that are falling into place at that specific time and then i guess there's a sense of priority um, at that point where I know with, with a certain work, if I work on this one, I'm going to tie into where I feel right now. Where it's not just a means of, I have to stay busy. I have enough stuff in process that I can find the right work for the right feeling. And that might even be not painting for that, that moment. That might actually be going out and just throwing a football around with a friend, and that and that finding that and that and that and again, I think that's that combination of of pushing things as hard as you can, and then being able to realize that every once in a while we need to pull away from it and get a get a bit of fresh air.